Welcome to a rainy Saturday night in New York City. This evening, we're in the beautiful borough of Brooklyn. In a building they call the Barclays Center, home of the Brooklyn Nets, who own the longest current winning streak in the NBA as they host the Dallas Mavericks and their young superstar, and they have fans back this week. The Nets allowing about 500 right now. They hope to increase it as we go along, but it's been wonderful to have the fans back in several buildings and for Brooklyn the first time this week. Welcome back, fans, to watch your Brooklyn Nets face off against the Dallas Mavericks. And we're here at the Barclays Center and say good evening, everyone, along with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand, Rachel Nichols with us as well. What a fun matchup we have with two point guards that are playing some extraordinary basketball. Mark, let's start with the Brooklyn Nets and James Harden. Now, he'll be without two of his star players tonight. Kevin Durant still out with a hamstring, and Kyrie Irving will not play tonight with a shoulder injury. But Harding seems to do pretty well by himself, whether it's in Houston or here in Brooklyn. My question to you, Mark, is, is he playing? playing any differently here in Brooklyn than he did in Houston? Well, two things jump out to me. His leadership and his ability to be to, to sacrifice. He certainly has done those things in a net uniform but has made them a dangerous team and have the opportunity of winning it all. How do you sacrifice? Well, being a willing passer. You're playing with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and James Harden. Somebody has to be willing to take the short end of the stick. He's done that. They have better basketball teams offensively and more impressively, they're better defensively. It's James Harden. Look at his numbers. Scored or assist 51 and a half points per game. Most in the NBA. A willing sacrifice guy who's making the guy setting the tone for this Nets team. And they're winning. Eight straight now for the Brooklyn Nets. As for Dallas, Jeff, they're playing a lot better. And of course, Luka Doncic, as he's done last year and he's doing this year, he's really carrying this team. He's the subject of our who is in the zone brought to you by AutoZone. He's been magnificent. Yeah, they weren't in the zone, and either was Doncic to start the season out. But over the last 10 games, they're 7-3, and three, and Doncic has played brilliantly during that span of time. You look at these numbers, they are off the charts. He is shooting the ball much better from three. He is finishing games like he did against Boston with big-time shots. Luka Doncic is leading the resurgence of the Mavericks. And the Mavericks, again, overall playing some good basketball after that rough stretch. Right now, for the first time tonight, let's welcome in Rachel Nichols. Hey, Rachel. Thanks, Mike. Kyrie Irving, a bit of a last-minute scratch today. Remember, he had arthroscopic surgery on his right shoulder last season. And Nets general manager Sean Marks told me that that same shoulder started feeling a little bit fatigued after the Nets' previous game, then again after going through a light practice yesterday. So the team decided better play it safe and hold him out tonight. And really, that is going to be Brooklyn's approach for the entire regular season. A hyper better safe than sorry approach so they can get to the postseason healthy. That's why when the latest MRI on Kevin Durant's hamstring still wasn't completely clean, they decided to not only hold him out tonight, but all the way through the All-Star break. Now, the Mavericks, at least, have better news on the injury front. Chris Stapp's Porzingis will return tonight after missing Dallas's last three games with a stiff back. Coach Rick Carlisle says no minutes restriction tonight for KP, and Chris Stapp's looked really comfortable in warm-ups and said he is excited to get back out there. You know who else is playing? James Harden and Luka Doncic. We will be right back with lineups and tip-offs right after this break. NBA Saturday Primetime on ABC is presented by AT&T 5G. Of the court. So I'm playing the best, I have fun. You just have to love the energy right now from the Brooklyn Nets. There's a feel good sense around this team. Keep it going. This is some of the best basketball that I've seen James Harden play. <laughs> For me, sometimes it's like playing chess. You gotta take your time and see the moves. There is a noticeable increase of juice in the building. Marcus step back three. He's got it. Oh man! Just for the win. Oh yeah! What a shot by Doncic! 
and Brooklyn Nets and NBA Saturday primetime on ABC. And it's presented by AT&T 5G. There's a real buzz about the Brooklyn Nets this season. As Dallas now in town, the Mavericks hoping to quiet that buzz a bit tonight as the fans are coming in. Meanwhile, let's listen to Jalen Brunson. He gets ready for tonight's game. Thank you. Oop, oop, yep, 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 yep. Ah! How you doing? How's your old man? Good, he's good. good. Doing real well. All right, all right. Getting old. We all are. Panther <laughs> Brunson is old man Rick Brunson. Former Nick. I gotta, I gotta stand up for the old guys. <laughs> Rick Brunson is the coach at Camden High School in New Jersey. They're six in the country, 10 and 0, number one in the state, 35 game winning streak, and his son's calling him old. No, he's he's getting it done as a coach. I went there and watched them practice last year. He does an outstanding job with his team. And you know who his best player is? Dewan Wagner. I did know that. Number one player in his class in the country. So the old man is doing well. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineup. And they are delivered by Taco Bell. And again, because of some key players out, some different starters. Meanwhile, Kristaps Sporzingis, after missing the last three, comes back for Dallas with Cleveland Dodgers, Josh Richardson, and Dorian Finney Smith. So the same five for Rick Carlisle, or at least his normal starting five. But with Kyrie Irving out, Kimite Luamu Cabarro will start for the sixth time this season. Bruce Brown continues to start. DeAndre Jordan, they're starting together with no Durant, no Kyrie Irving. So Steve Nash making some adjustments. So we're set to go. As the Brooklyn Nets, an eight-game winning streak. They have been an absolute offensive machine. During this eight-game streak, James Harden has been magnificent. They're averaging over 122 points per game. And in those eight games, Kevin Durant's only played in one of them. Kyrie Irving missed one as well, yet they're still pummeling opponents. But if you're Dallas, Mike, you have to take advantage of these opportunities. When guys are out, 